Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy from Tracy Ellen Art. Thanks for being here. So today I'm going to do another black and white themed Dutch pour. Um, last week we did one and I will show you the dried results in a minute here. Um, but I did a diptych, one black, one white background, and it was all different um, soft green colors. And so today I'm going to do, it's a 20 by 20 square canvas, and it's going to be split backgrounds of black and white on one single canvas. And I'm going to do a color scheme of just black, white, and some metallic neutrals. So I have, I'll actually show you the colors now. So I have, um, Amsterdam gold. I wasn't ready for that one, apparently. Um, I have Arteza pearl white, Arteza silver, and Arteza pearl space gray. And the last color that will be part of the Dutch blow is Amsterdam pewter. Okay, so these are all the colors that I'm going to blow. So this is the pearl white. You probably, it's probably a little hard to see in this angle. You'll have another angle when I'm recording, but here's the silver, the Arteza. I really like the Arteza pearl um, colors, by the way. Here's the Amsterdam pewter, which is kind of like cross between gold and silver, I think. And then the space gray, and again, it's a pearl, so it has a little iridescence to it. So all of these should have a little bit of shimmer and iridescence. My base colors, just like last week, is Amsterdam white for the white base and Creative Inspirations black for the black base. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to face the camera down so you can see what I'm doing on the canvas and we'll get started. Before I get started, I wanted to just show you the finished dry results of the green and black, uh, white and black diptych last week with the green. You can see the shimmer from that gold and some of the uh, TLP pigments from Fluid Art Company. So I wanted to just show you that before we get started painting the black one. They dried really, really nice. I was really happy with how they came out. So. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, first of all, want this to be this way. Let me make sure. It's all here correctly. Better. Okay, so we're going to have the white here. You can see I've brushed paint to the sides where the black will hit, just in case something doesn't drip completely completely over the edge. I'm going to flood the canvas with the white first. And I did also brush the sides of the white, mostly because um, even though it's white and the canvas is white, sometimes if it doesn't go all the way over to the edge and the canvas isn't painted, you can kind of see where it might have been bumped or rubbed against things um, while it was packing or something. And so there's like little marks sometimes. So I just wanted to cover it up and make sure it's all completely matching to the color of the paint. You can see I drew a line where I want to have my split colors meet and where I want to pour my colors once I start. So it's just a guideline. It'll get covered up. You won't see it once I um, finish blowing everything out and covering the canvas with paint. But I did want to give myself a little bit of a guideline. 
So no. It's always good to have an idea in my head before I start where I want to where I want the paint to go and um, what I want the composition to to be. Okay, so it's the white. I think we've got everything covered here. I don't know about you all, I am in Rhode Island and it is mid-April and we had high 80 and low 90 degree weather the last two days, which is extremely uncommon for this time of the year. So it's been, I don't know, we'll see if that's an indication of what it's going to be like this summer. Um, today it's back down to temperatures in the 70s, so it's just temporary. Say, so, put a little bit of that white mixed in here, so I'm trying to brush it off, cover it up with the black. And you know, the preference of painting the sides or wiping the drips. Um, if you saw my video last week, I didn't do it this way. I put the base down and then I rubbed all the sides. Um, sometimes I like the drips. Today I'm kind of in a drippy mood, so I like, I wanna see the drips. Um, everyone has a different preference and depending on the style that you're doing or even like today, the mood I'm in, um, I kinda wanna see those drips down the side. And it's much, like I said, it's much easier for me, it's much more acceptable to have those drips if I've already painted the sides because then I know there's not going to be any spots that have been bumped or banged or rubbed with something and I have to worry that I didn't cover something between the drips. Okay, so we have the base down. There's quite a bit of paint, um, but we'll see. So I really want this to be mostly monochrome, right? So I have the blacks, the whites, um, and I have some neutral metallics. I was actually on and off about the gold because it's it can be quite brightening. Um, but I'm going to try to be very minimal with the gold color. And all the others are pretty neutral and monochromatic with the black and white, so I'm not too worried. So I'm gonna start with the graphite, pearl graphite. It's from Arteza, and I'm just going to lay this along my line here. And then I'm going to go with the pearl white from Arteza. Do the same thing. You'll notice I don't have these in the squeeze bottles like I do a lot of my other paints because those tubes I showed you earlier were more of a sample pack. So I was making small amounts of them to try them out, even though most of them I've used before. And getting a lot of hair and lint in here. So, so. Okay, probably my heater. Um, all right, I'm going to put the gold here in the middle of the colors. I just gooped myself. I open that cap and I'm going to try to do it just very, very thinly, like just a very thin line of the gold. I don't want the gold taking over. Sometimes I do, but today I don't. Um, it is a very pretty color and I know a lot of times on the camera 
<laughs> it comes across as, um, it looks yellow for some reason. I haven't mastered my photography or videography. So there's the pewter. So I figured out how to show certain colors very accurately when I take the pictures and show the big things. Someday I'll learn that piece of this process. And the last color is the silver. Again, very, very muted, monochromatic, neutral color palette today. I want ever so slight amount of color. Okay, so we're going to pop all of our bubbles. I'm going to actually walk around again and look in the different lights and make sure there's no big pieces of lint or hair that I'm not seeing and then and then I'll get started with the blow dryer. I'll just take a walk around. Alright, looks good over here. I'm just going to touch up a little bit of this white that I didn't quite from the other side, needing coverage. Okay. Now, similar to last week, I'm not doing a traditional Dutch pour where I'm building petals as I go along. I'm doing one continuous blow to get more of a feathery look than a flowery petal look. So we're going to try this again. I was happy with it last week, so let's see if I'm happy again this week. Yep, that's what I was trying to avoid. Sticking my body in it. I am very happy with this. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. The only problem with Some of these large canvases is I can't always get across them without sticking my body in them when I need to make some tweaks. A little hair out of here. But overall I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I and mean, you guys are gonna really like the close-up. Very pretty, very simple and um, subdued, but 
classic, I guess is the word. I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for besides monochromatic? And I am happy with the amount of gold. It did not overpower. Just add a little bit more dimension to the black and white and gray. And yeah, I'm gonna tweak with it a little bit. And then I'll bring you all in for a close-up. Hey guys. Maybe you'll yell at me, maybe you won't, but I'm doing this over. <laughs> so, while I do love it, and I will end up with a lot less negative space now because I'm doing this, but, 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 I'm okay with that because I'm just not happy with the way my petals formed. So I was trying not to have petals and then I tweaked them so much that they became petals but not petals in a way that I would want them to look. So guess what? Here's the thing about fluid art is you can always do it again. You can always fix it. Everything's fixable used to tell my kids when they were young, everything's figure outable, and that was a line from Marie Forleo, if you're familiar with her. Um, and with fluid art, what I've decided is that everything is fixable. So, you never just stuck with something if you're not happy with it, if it didn't come out quite the way you wanted it to. Um, there have been times where I have scraped an entire canvas and yeah, sometimes that's what you have to do. So let's try to blow this out again. Yeah, so you can see there was a lot of paint on here and now these petals are more flowy and less defined, which is really what I wanted. And I'm gonna futz again, hopefully. I don't mess anything up, but I just wanna kind of merge these petals a little bit more together. Here, again, I was trying not to have petals, but looks like today it's an inevitability. And that's it's okay because I'm happy with it actually. A little more definition there. This one is going to go off. There we go. Okay, everyone, this is more what I was going for. So you can see here, it was more of a full flowy look than a petally flowery look. Um, and I love
love the flowery look as well, but that's just not what I was trying to do today. So I wanted very much the neutrals to kind of combine together like that and just kind of all flow together. It's almost like a rain pour, but it has a little bit more wispiness to it and flow to it because of the hair dryer. So we have some pretty nice cells here as well. That gold popping through the black. Again, very monochromatic, but a nice shimmer to it as well. So yeah, that is what I was going for. And I will show you the dried results when it's dry. Thanks for being here. Definitely click the like and subscribe button and help me spread my joy of painting. Thanks everyone. Bye.